What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, the teaser clip that you saw in today's video, that was from a restaurant called Casa Mission down in Cozumel, Mexico. And it's an absolutely great place to go eat and take your family if you're down there and just to enjoy your time. They have a live band that comes out and plays and they really do a good service to you as a customer there. Now, at the end of the night, of course, we left them a pretty large tip on the table. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, the five W's in tipping scuba professionals, whether it's the boat captain, the dive master on board, or your instructor in general. And I'm going to talk about who should be tipped, when you should tip, uh, where you should tip, what you should tip, and, of course, why you should be tipping as well. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. So who should you be tipping? Your instructor, your dive master, the boat captain, or maybe one of the deckhands? Well, for me personally, I like to tip anyone that is considered free labor, if you will. That's going to be your dive masters at the stores. That's going to be your dive masters on boat or even the deckhands. There are rare exceptions where I will tip a captain, but in in general, the captains are being paid to be on the vessel, so typically I do not tip them unless it's a situation where the only one that's on board is the captain himself. And even if I paid to be there with him or he's being paid to be there with me, I will still typically tip him if he's the only one on board. Now, our recent trip to Cozumel, Mexico, I had to pay for a private dive guide because of my daughter's age. So he was actually being paid to be there. But based off his performance alone, I felt the need to actually tip him as well. And each day, both myself and my daughter would tip him for his services. So typically for me, anyone who is not being paid to be there, they're going to be the ones that actually gets tipped. So what should you tip? 10%, 15%, 20%? Well, unfortunately, I can't give you a concrete number. This is really going to be based off your personal preference of how much you feel is appropriate. However, I will tell you what I typically tip. If I'm tipping a dive master or a crew member, it's anywhere between $10 and $20 a day or per dive. So in a situation where I had to hire a private dive guide for me and my daughter, we typically tipped him $10 per dive per day. So between me and my daughter, he was getting around $40 in tips a day. And that's really not that bad. If you can imagine for a second, if you're a dive master, say you're on a boat of about 10 to 15 people, that's really good money that is really tax-free based off where your geographical location is. Now, I do want to state this, that there's a lot of times when you tip them, they do have to share those tips with the rest of the crew members. Whether that's fair or not, typically that's how it's going to be. But if I'm on a boat that has a tip jar, then of course I would put the tip in the tip jar. And Unless I feel like somebody has went above and beyond what their duties are, then of course I would tip them directly. Now if there's not a tip jar, then of course I'm going to tip that person directly. All 
All right, so now let's talk about when you should tip them. Personally, I like to wait until the boat is back on shore or back to the dock before I tip. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. If you just climbed up on the boat, you're soaking wet, the dive guy gets back on the boat, he's soaking wet, and now you're going to try to hand him cash in hand or some type of tip, that's probably not the best time to do it. I typically like to wait until we're back to land where he's dried off, I'm dried off, and he's probably got clothing on where he can stick it in his pocket. It's very difficult to take cash or whatever tip that you're giving him and so that he can put it in his wetsuit it's not going to be very practical for him then so i typically like to wait until we get back to shore now once again if it's a tip jar and i have to put the tip in the tip jar then of course you can do it at any time but for me personally i like to wait until the boat is back on land i'm off of it and then of course i can tip him by of course either shaking his hand or just handing it to him and telling him what a good job he did Where should you be tipping? Should you do it in the view of others or should you be doing it privately? Well, I've done both in the past and it just really depends. If I know that tip is going to be spread throughout all the crew members, then of course I will tip at any given time just by putting it in the tip jar. But if I want one specific crew member to get more than the others, then I'm going to tip him in privately. Maybe once we're back on shore, I'll just go up and nonchalantly shake his hand with the tip kind of folded up in my hand. And that's a nice private way to do it. If I do tip all the crew members individually, I'll always fold it up because the other crew members don't need to know what each member got as a tip. I may have gave one guy $5, may have gave the other guy $15. It just just depends on their performance. So me personally, I like to do it privately, but don't be ashamed of doing it publicly because we should be promoting good and hard work with the industry leaders or industry professionals that are truly out here working for tips alone. So let's end this video with why you should tip. We talked about you know, who should be getting tipped, what should they be getting tipped, when should you tip, where should you tip. So let's end with why. Why should we be tipping? Well, we discussed earlier that typically a lot of the crew members are working for free. They're working for tips. That's the only source of income they've got. Now, even boat captains at certain times are still working for free. So why should we be doing it? Well, we should be doing it so that we can show a sense of gratitude for their hard dedication and their hard work to this industry. They are volunteering their time being out there so that we can have a safe and an enjoyable experience underwater. If they do a really good job, they're going to get a lot bigger tip. If they do a poor job, then of course their tip's not going to be quite as big. But we should be doing it simply to show a sense of gratitude for their service and their dedication to the scuba industry. But guys, that's it for the five W's of tipping in the scuba industry. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encourages you to get out there and tip others as well. But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.